So I've got Asher here again, and uh, I've got his, as you can tell, I've got something he wants. Okay, hold on. It's his Barrett ball, and here we go. I've PR'd this ball before. I buy it on Amazon, and it saved me a ton now in having to feel guilty about landfills with the jolly balls. But anyway, watch this. I'm going to throw it for him, and then I'll tell you guys. So... Obi and Asher are way over in the corner digging. I just did a video of them digging, but good boy, Ash. Obi and Asher are getting along great now. I'm afraid still to leave them in the yard because we don't know what happened, but I do know that it's been brutal. We have total harmony with Shaq and everybody again, but that wasn't an attack on Shaq. She was as mutually involved. That was all created by Al giving the plate of food. But then about four days later, Asher and Obi had their first fight, and it could be just because there was so much tension and anxiety, but it was likely also because Al didn't recognize they had a lot of energy going out in the morning. He later made a comment about it, so at least he did recognize it, but he still didn't know to stop it. And anyway, Asher looks like he's got a map on both sides of his face. Of course, most likely, mostly his left and then his right. Uh, there too, but he looks horrific for a show dog. You're back, buddy. Luckily, in England, for our breed, they actually have the provisions for this because they're called noble wounds because they know that somebody doesn't know their own intelligence when it comes to mixing it up with 85-pound dogs. It doesn't matter to them because they just don't... Once they go, they just go and there's no fight first, ask questions later, which is really unfortunate. And again, I think, I believe we're going to have a lifetime of harmony. I know I have not had an issue yet, and now I'm even more serious than I was about it, but you always have to be on guard. And I think finally Al will be there too, although I'm still going to not act like that. I'm just going to protect the dogs from anybody that might not realize this potential. And I'm just sad because, I mean, Asher, you've been doing amazing He's been number one uh, dog in the country. Owner handled Staffordshire Bull Terrier for 2019 and 2020 with hardly any showing. The West Coast was basically shut down in 2020. And uh, 2019, we had limited showing due to Willie's puppies. Uh, but he's won multiple best in shows now. And again, it was four days after his last best in show that this roadmap uh, for his head and neck has occurred. You can see if I get too close, but I don't even want to because I'm so horrified by it. But, and he's got now on called the dominant dog collar. I may as well put another plug for that, which is in case there is a fight. So I've taken that precaution, but I just want to say, um, yeah, I love this ball, but okay, wait, wait, are you ready, buddy? Quit it. Um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, it does cause you to learn a lot even though I thought I already knew a lot, um, you can always up your pack leadership to prevent issues with your dogs. I don't know that neutering OB would make a difference, although that may be on the horizon anyway, just because it's hard when Willow's in heat. But I know, now he's got after it about six times. I was throwing it before the video too. So, all right, back, buddy. I'm going to throw it one more time. All right, back, back. Good boy. Wait, wait. So anyway, it's a very sad because, again, he was at just the looking, couldn't have looked better. I'm doing everything under the sun with creams and uh, internal supplements to try to get that hair to grow back. We're hoping for another show in like four to five weeks, so I'm sure the hair won't be growing back by then. And I don't think the American judges have as much knowledge of the noble wounds, so I'm going to hope that I can get some noble L'Oreal uh, powder or something and cover a little bit of the obvious, really obvious marks. Because show dogs shouldn't be battle scarred unless you're Staffords and unless the judges happen to know that. But in this case, I don't think we do have a, we have a terrier expert one day, but no, no uh, experts in this breed. All right, ready, buddy boy? All right, one more throw. And then, um, yeah, down there is... Uh, Ash or, or Obi and Willow digging. I got a picture of them earlier because I what we do now is we let everybody together again in the house. No problem. In fact, Asher and Obi have been sleeping together again. 
Um, I feel like there's virtually no risk as long as I'm the first person up in the morning. And they genuinely seem to like each other. So it's something that we humans need to stop. Um, but I don't trust them out in the yard together again because I'm nervous. Hi, Cheery. I'm nervous about uh, them having... Uh, okay, buddy, let me do it again. I'm nervous about uh, them having a potential... Um, you know, fight because of the high energy, because I think that's probably what happened is my guess is that Asher nipped at Obi's legs because he does that to try to calm energy down. He just bites it. Another dog and Obi probably just finally had it after a few years of taking Asher's over exuberance. So I'm pretty devastated about that. And we had had that fight before with the three Staffords because of the food but it was in such close succession that it kind of wore me down. But we're regrouping and we're getting even tighter. And like I say, things are better on the pack leadership with the dogs and all. It's just now just cosmetically getting Asher's little face back to, to where it needs to be. Right, buddy? All right, wait. 